Ladies and gentlemen, I am Badass Games, and today I am finally going to begin my epic journey through the last revelation. Tomb Raider 4, uh, several people have been waiting for this, and I know that um, I'm happy to be finally providing this to you guys, for sure. Um, unlike the other Tomb Raiders though, this one actually doesn't have an intro video, it's just the... Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> we get the loading screen. So, um, there are a lot of differences in this new Tomb Raider game compared to the third one. And, you know, for the most part, there, there are nice advances for this. For another part, they actually suck. Some of them are pretty bad. And they really irritate me, but um, when I get to them, I'll let you know exactly which ones actually irritate me and which ones are good. So, let's start a new game and get this underway. And that's the extent of the intro video. <laughs> Welcome to the first loading screen of the game. Actually, it's the second one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And so, we breach the sanctum of the ancients, the first footfalls in this tomb for centuries. This place gives me the creeps after you. Okay, so... Random guy here, this is Werner von Croy, if you don't know already. The, uh, he's pretty much just going to teach us how to do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and yeah, he's pretty much uh, the mentor for Lara Croft. As you can see, uh, Lara Croft is young. She's got pigtails, or as I like to call them, handlebars. Oh, maybe you get that. what that means. Maybe. Alright, but um, the first thing that we encounter in this level is... this. Actually, this entire level is like a huge tutorial, and it's irritating as hell. Because this guy just doesn't shut up. He always tells me a bunch of stuff that I already know. And the stuff that I don't know, or they should be explaining, they miss. And I'll explain that when I get to it, too. So let's get this underway. Careful. All is not as it seems. Concealed traps and pitfalls await the unwary. You must stay close and follow my instruction. Alright, so I gotta stay close and follow his instruction. Um, now, if you notice, this is actually the secrets, um, I, I believe throughout the entire game, but um, here is a golden skull. You pick this up and uh, it counts as a secret. Now, when I collect, uh, I'm sorry, there are eight total in this level, and when I collect all eight, then I uh, unlock the most difficult, or there's two paths at the very end. If you get all eight skulls, you take the hardest path. If you don't get all eight skulls, then you don't take, you actually take the easiest path. So, um, it's up to you if, you know, if you want to get all the secrets, then you have to take the hardest path. So, it's, you know, whatever. I'm just completely rambling on. Alright, more Werner. Good men have died for the inf information contained herein, and cruel men have bartered the information for their own ends. For this we must respect it. We will not deviate from its root, and you will not deviate from my instruction. This way. I will not deviate from his instruction. He really doesn't give much, but that's fine. We want to go over here, and then... Um, we don't want to go any further. He's actually going to activate this, this glyph on the wall, and it's going to cause these spikes to spike up through there and then it's safe to go through and now when we get over here we actually want to go in the water because there's another golden skull in here okay now that we have that we can go ahead and leave and then we're gonna get some more instruction by Werner the first obstacle a small hop to test your, how do you say, pluck. Press and hold walk. Now, push forward. All right, test my pluck. Come, come, child. Do not fear. This is merely an appetizer for the perils ahead. Push forward and jump together. Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, so far nothing is really different. There's a uh, a boar here, and you can actually just bypass him. You don't have any weapons, but Werner does, and he can kill him, but... Patience, child. Disrespect is a route to carelessness. Our route lays beyond the stream. Oh, the golden stream? Oh, whoa. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say is, uh, Werner can kill the boars, but if you can get to the next cutscene... 
then you can bypass it. Now down here, before you actually perform his instructions, there's another golden skull. This is three out of eight. So, uh, yeah, that's where that's at. And let's go back up here and um, have Werner tell us how to hop some gaps. This gap is wider, and the edges treacherous. First walk to the edge, then press forward and jump together. When you are in midair, press and hold action. You will grab the outcrop. Or you can just run and jump. It, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. Ah, the pace is quickening now, yeah? One more crossing, child. Or do you wish to stop for tea? Oh, I think I can just about hold it together. Wouldn't want to spill it on your nice suit. At any rate. All right, now there's this last jump here. This one actually does require. This one calls for a run up. Yeah. I will go first. One of those things. He will go first. We'll just see about that. Oh. So what now, Werner von Croy? I've deviated from your instruction, and you still haven't punished me for it. A useful crack rendered by the hand of time. Invisible to the untrained eye. You're a regular superhero, Werner. Ah, yes, the Superman. Hm. There's enough comedy. Mm hmm. Okay, more of this stuff. Here we go. Run to the wall. Now press forward and hold action to grab on. Now press right to shimmy across. So, yeah, it's basically just a bunch of stuff that we already know so far. Um, later on, I don't know if there's. There's not too much that is actually new, but, um, yeah, like I said, when we get to it, I'll explain. Good, good. Now <laughs> press forward to climb up. Oh, how about that, Werner? Cocky bastard. Okay, so, uh, we just continuously follow this guy, and he's gonna keep talking. Oh, here's one thing that I do not like about this game. I'm pressing the look button. I'm pressing it, I'm holding it, and I can't, I, I mean, I can look around, you can see that I'm looking around, but I don't lose the camera angle, and I can't, I don't know if that's, like, permanent in the game, I don't know if there's gonna be a whole lot of times when I need to, like, look away, but that's annoying, and that can cause a lot of problems. This is a high fall, you should lower yourself down to be safe. Turn around to face away from the door. Now press back and hold action. Let go of action to fall to the floor. Like this, Werner? Like that? Is Did I do it right? Alright, uh, in this water, as you can see why I came down here, it was to get a golden skull. And, uh, before we actually leave the water, if we go into this, this little passageway in the water, go around these corners, we'll find a large med pack. And, I believe, um, oh, and by the way, this is the menu also, it looks a little bit different. Um... And all the items are right here. You can save here. You can save whenever you want, finally. And, um, just like in, um, Tomb Raider 2. And, uh, yeah, all your your items are here. You get a compass. And, um, yeah, let's see, what, let's see what's on the pause menu, too. We got resume, quit, so you can actually go back to the main menu, game settings, and statistics. So all the statistics are actually listed here now. And game settings... You can control your volume with a pretty pretty nice beep or whatever, and then music value, configure, configure, configure controls. Um, you can actually, I believe you can, no, I guess you can't set them, you just go through different configurations. So I just keep it on one, that's the original one. It's very similar to Tomb Raider 3. Screen adjust, so you can adjust your screen, automatic targeting, and manual targeting. Now there's a difference between these two. Automatic targeting is just like it was in, t in the first three Tomb Raiders. You automatically, she automatically targets a guy or an enemy and you don't, and you can fire at him. Um, now manual targeting, she doesn't do that actually, um, anymore. What she does is when you press the look button, she'll target, um, somebody and then you can press the look button again to target something else. So that's kind of useful, but still, I still like the automatic targeting. And one thing that sucks about this game is that when somebody goes out of your line of sight, you no longer maintain your lock on that enemy. You automatically go back to, um, to uh, straight ahead of you. So that sucks because 
um, I used to use that all the time to make sure that I knew there was an enemy within my, um, that, that I was still alive or, you know, it's something of that nature so I can get an idea where he's at. Um, and clearly they didn't want me to do that, so they got rid of it, unfortunately. Okay, and uh, that's enough about that stuff, so let's resume the game. Uh, I still need to pick up this small med pack. Okay, now that I got this, let's get the hell out of here. No prizes for you this time, Lara. Ah well, use forward and left and right to move across the surface until you reach the shore. Then press action to climb out. For some reason they talk really quietly here. And... Found it. Like this? Is this how I do it, Werner? Um, new switches though, you know, also, and unfortunately I can't touch this thing to activate it, I need this guy to do it. Alright. You will catch your death in those clothes, my dear. A quick sprint up that ladder will dry you out again. Such concern. I never knew you cared. Dear Lara, you are a valuable asset to the quest. You are romantic, you. <laughs> yes, Carl. Wow, that old man's romancing like... How old is she? 16? 14? Walk up Greek. Now press and I can't hear you. The water's too loud. And besides, whatever you're telling me, I was doing it anyway. Get off my screen. Werner is so annoying, I swear. I can't wait till I get past this level and to put up with this crap. Um, this is the first time that you play as Lara this young. Um, I believe it's the only time, too. I'm pulling your lever. Get off my case. Alright. Swiftly across the vines now. Now press forward to swing across. Don't let go Doing of it. action or you will again before the plunge. I don't know why he's speaking so quietly. Um, and for some reason it only happens in this room. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out for the rest of the game. So um, I'm going to have to turn up the volume whenever people speak if it's going to be quiet like that from here on out. Sorry guys, not my fault. Alright. Finally, all the way across that thing. Um, we also get sprint, like we did in Tomb Raider 3, which is nice. I don't have any weapons right now, though, like I was saying. And that reminded me because there's some boars out here again. Just avoid them. But there is, if, if you don't feel comfortable, you can actually have Werner kill them. There is a golden skull right here that you can pick up. So, and that boar is going to chase you around, so if you want to just get that before he comes and gets you. Or, like I said, have Werner kill him. Alright. And when we enter this room, we actually want to go over to the right. There is another golden skull. And I believe that's it in that room. There is no mention of this in the texts. I fear this must be opened internally. We must enter through the grate and be wary of snares. I presume by we, you refer to me. Yeah, my heavier frame may activate traps. You will pass unnoticed. How convenient. Yes, how convenient. Now you, can you teach me how to crouch. Stand facing I was doing now. it. Press and hold the crouch. Button. That's what I did. Push forward to crawl into the gap. Be alert. I did it better than what you were telling me to do. And then you ruined it for me. Now when we enter here, you want to go to the left. And at the very end here, there is a golden skull. Alright. I think that's either six or seven. We may have one or two left to pick up.
And that's how she got that familiar looking backpack. Don't forget to press this lever. It's actually going to make that wall roll. And that's interesting because in the other games, whenever you made a change in the area, it'd actually be instantaneous. It wouldn't let you watch it change. You can actually watch these doors roll open and everything. Ah, a backpack. Let us hope it does not hold the same luck for you as its previous owner. <gasps> How do you know what? My own luck, Werner. What now? How does he know what happened to the previous owner? Oh, I skipped a cutscene! <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Alright, whatever. Dive through the gap! Dive through the gap! Press jump to perform a dive Yeah, roll. um, I'm pretty sure you can't avoid the damage. Um, I haven't mentioned yet, but I believe I'm going to be trying to do a Nomad Pack run. I'm not too sure how this game, uh, fares for that sort of, uh, thing, so, um, as far as I can, I will be trying to use no med packs. Um, so yeah. Now before we actually go, do uh, before we actually go stand over there where those two statues are, we need to come over here into this corner. This is the final golden skull. And now that I have all of the golden skulls, um, I can actually take the uh, more difficult path. Well done, my child. To the right, the path of the heretical. To the left is the root of the virtuous. I'm up for a little heresy. Now, she says, I'm up for a little heresy. That means that you actually did find all of the um, eight golden skulls in this level. If she says something about being a virtuoso, then you didn't find them all. And you have to go back. And actually, you also see Werner go over here to this symbol and activate that gate instead of this one over here. So keep that in mind. Now it becomes interesting, yeah? Yeah? See, now it is not for the weak of heart. How do you hold up, girl? Oh, I think I could get used to this. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Here is... I guess this isn't actually new. Forward. Now press and hold action. When you are hanging from the ledge, hold down crawl to squeeze into the gap. All right, so uh, this is slightly different. I think um, in Tomb Raider 3, you actually didn't have to press crouch in order to climb up into a, a crawl space like this. I think it was automatic. Um, well, in this one, you actually do have to press crawl, which is kind of... It's, eh, you know, it's like whatever. Kind of a weird change, I guess. Now this, this is annoying. He's going to... Okay, so over there is a rope. He's going to tell us a little bit how to use this rope. Swing across to the alcove. Jump from the ledge, then hold down action to grab the vine. To release, let go of action. So, yeah, he tells us about the action button. You know, you hold the action button to grab the thing and... Oh, what the heck. I just, uh, fell. Um, yeah, I guess I'll explain while I'm making my way back up there. Um, he tells us about holding the action button and then releasing the action button. But he says nothing about how to swing and how to jump off the vine. Like, okay, this is supposed to be a tutorial. And this is the one thing that is actually new in the game. This was not in, in any of the other three Tomb Raiders, and he fails to mention how to properly use the rope. That completely blows my mind. On top of that, they don't explain anything about how to use the weapons. So it's like, come on, is this a tutorial? Is this supposed to here to annoy the crap out of me? I'm going to go with uh, option two. Okay, so I will explain how to properly use this thing. I'm holding the action button right now, and I press it down to get to the very bottom. You can actually climb the rope, too. Um, but you want to be at the very bottom of most of these rope, and, and you can slide all the way to the bottom without falling off. Um, now, when you're there, if you press the sprint button, she'll actually kick her feet and cause this, this, uh, the rope to swing. And you can use that to jump from rope to rope or from rope to ledge or whatever you need to do. Now, when she grabs the rope with her legs again, you can actually use the uh, sprint button again. And then you can press square to actually jump off of the vine. And um, that's very useful information right there. Alright, and that's basically the end of the tutorial. 
Now we're going to go down here and actually begin the race. Now, for the last, you are an exemplary student, Lara, although you have not yet learned the root of all adventuring, the craving to win at whatever cost. I throw down the gauntlet to you, my child. Whoever is first to the iris claims the prize. Watch your back, old man. I warn you, I'll pull no punches. <laughs> I expected no less. On the count of three, one... Two. And he fails to save three. Uh, say three. <laughs> um, I need to. I want to save my game before I actually begin this, and uh, because if I fall, or if I take a lot of damage, or whatever, or if I fail, then I can have. A, I can come back. So I would recommend you also save before doing this race if you want to try and come in first. Um, now when you're doing, I don't know too much about the uh, the the easy path, so it's pretty easy. Um, but so I'm just gonna actually just do the hard path and explain as I go, hopefully, because it's gonna be pretty quick as I go through this. The first we actually want we actually want him to be ahead of us for now. Because I think he actually opens a passageway to a oh I died. Game over. <laughs> uh see that's why I saved. <laughs> um what I was gonna say though is he actually opens a door. He shuts you out of the path that he takes, but I believe he opens a door to a shortcut. I think it's a shortcut. I'm not sure. It does seem to be a lot shorter because by the time I come out from the shortcut, I'm already ahead of him. So it's actually beneficial for him to be ahead of you right off the bat. You don't want to be too far behind him because that would uh, cause too much uh, things. I can see that becoming a big problem later on in the game if there's uh, certain traps and stuff. Okay, so you want to be about here at about 33 seconds. He's going to open this door over here to the left, and this is what I would consider actually the shortcut. Spin across here, slide and jump, and then slide and jump. Watch out for the spikes down below, and yeah. I believe I'm ahead of him now. I'm pretty sure he's behind me. And now, just sprint across this bridge. And then we're going to enter this room with the water. I'm um, trying not to fall in the water and just go into this room. And now we got another um, jump that I got to do here. If I can make it... Oh, I grabbed the ledge. Okay, I was clearly going to grab grab the ledge there. Everybody, everybody here is a witness. Everybody saw that. That is not legitimate. Alright, um, don't worry about the rope. That's there in case Warner actually cuts the bridge down on you. If he's ahead of you. And if he's ahead of you by now, then he's most likely going to win because I'm pretty close to the end here. When you get to the statue, just walk into his mouth and you'll fall into the next area. And yeah, um, this is pretty much the end. Pupil excels the master. I congratulate you on your agility. Take your prize from the plinth. You have earned it. In the time it took you to find your way here, I've examined the inscriptions. It warns of vengeance on those who remove it. Ah, ancient hocus pocus. Forget this nonsense and come over here. I don't count poison darts and triggered entombment, your average child's tea party. I feel we should lend this some respect. Ah. And you are the world-famous archaeologist adventurer Lara Croft, yeah? No, no, I am the renowned archaeologist adventurer 
Werner von Croy, and you will do as I say. Go to the wall and pull the lever. What was it you said? Disrespect is the route to carelessness? I am weary of this. Pull the lever now, Miss Croft. On your head be it, Von Croy. Experience, child, and you will learn more than simple. You were saying? <gasps> my leg! My leg! I am trapped! My leg is trapped! Help me, Laura! Help me! Hold on! I'm coming back to get you! she is all right that is the end of the very first level um as you can as you may have noticed um there is no definitive beginning and end of levels there is no stats at the very end of a level so i'm not sure how i'm going to how i'm going to slice these videos up um i may just figure out where stella you know ends her walkthroughs at and just call that the end of a level um i'm not sure how that works yet so um, we'll figure it out, and if anybody has any idea or if they want to comment, please post some comments below, and we'll go from here. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Badass Games, and you guys are watching Tomb Raider 4. Finally, you're watching Tomb Raider 4. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.